Today we're going to be talking about how to get good at Linux. Let's say you've just installed completely new Linux distro that you never tried before. Here are 5 simple yet important steps to become a power user. Step 1. Improve your understanding of Linux. Start by learning what your exact distribution is made of. Each distro can be easily broken down into a few specific components, like the kernel, some sort of graphical environment, packaging tools and the list of pre-installed applications. For example, Ubuntu. It features GNOME desktop environment, systemd service which keeps track of all daemons and processes, comes with an enormous list of pre-installed software and several tools for managing and installing applications, including apt package manager, flatpak and snap store. It provides fully fledged desktop thing with office alternatives, media players, common Unix printing system and of course a web browser. Arch Linux comes with Pacman package manager and Arch build system. No snap store and you don't have to install Flatpak. It's required only by GNOME and KDE. The default installation is very minimal, no pre-installed software whatsoever and it's you who decide which packages are necessary and which desktop environment to install. Some distributions like Ubuntu follow scheduled release cycle and Arch on the other hand is a rolling release distro. Fedora Workstation, GNOME Desktop Environment, Systemd, Flatpak and its own package manager called DNF. You see, desktop environments usually come with their own set of tightly integrated system utilities, which means basically all skills that you've obtained by daily driving and maintaining Ubuntu can be applied to your new Fedora Workstation. KDE on Arch works pretty much the same way as KDE on OpenSUSE or Kubuntu. Step 2 read manuals, wikis and other resources that provide valuable information and instructions. These things will help you understand how to maintain your system, how to fix rare hardware problems and how to improve your user experience. The Linux community is also generally supportive and helpful, though before asking for help, make sure that you've actually read the manual. Step 3. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. And when I say practice, I really mean it. When it comes to new and difficult activities, our brain is acting a little bit too conservatively, preventing us from productive learning. Only practice can help you override this failure protection mode and develop new skills. If you want to become a power user, practice maintaining your own system. If you want to become a Linux server administrator, practice managing servers. Practice writing simple shell scripts. Practice configuring network from the command line. Practice managing drives and file systems. Practice starting and stopping systemd services. Practice changing file firewall rules. Oh, and don't forget to practice troubleshooting. No matter how stable your distro is, anything that can go wrong will eventually go wrong. Sooner or later you'll have to deal with all sorts of common problems, which brings us to the next step. Step 4. Learn how to predict. The skill of predicting and solving problems before they appear is crucial for your system stability. The key is to understand what can go wrong, how to protect your data and how to make system more redundant. It is tough to predict challenges before they actually arise, so you kinda have to accept that in most cases you are going to find yourself reacting to all sorts of problems. Things like hardware failures, human errors and malicious attacks are happening all the time, so you need to learn how to back up data and restore it later on. Learn how to troubleshoot things, how to deal with minor inconveniences, how to fix an unbootable system, figure out when to upgrade and what packages do you need. It is your job to maintain your own system and your particular distro of choice is going to be as stable as you want it to be. If you enjoy watching this video, please allow me to ask for your support. As a one-man team, I'm responsible for everything you see on this channel, from cinematography and script writing to editing and gameplay recording. I keep my videos completely free from paid promotions, product placements and sponsorships. I respect my audience and I need your help to keep it this way. If you want to support me, please consider joining channel membership with special perks. You can also make a single donation by hitting thanks button underneath the video. And now let's get back to the script. Step 5. Be curious. You should definitely spend some time distro hopping. Switching between different distros will expose you to different philosophies and key principles that they have been built upon. Some distros come with no proprietary software whatsoever, and some of them deploy only proprietary codecs and GPU drivers. Set up a virtual machine, learn about encryption and decryption, understand basic Linux security, experiment a lot, learn from your mistakes and keep trying. 
If you're feeling yourself overwhelmed right now, that's okay. Linux grants you full control over your PC and with great power comes great responsibility. To be able to wield that power you need to learn a lot of important lessons. Of course you don't have to do all of that, especially if you're happy with your current operating system of choice. Or you don't have time and desire to digest all that information. And that's fine, there are plenty of user-friendly distros that strives to create best possible experience out of the box. But these 5 steps are necessary if you want to become a Linux power user. There is no easy way of becoming an expert in any field, especially when it comes to complex systems and modern technologies. But to become a truly open-minded and skillful person, you have to constantly challenge yourself and try something different. The great thing about Linux is that it's free software. It is not another product that was designed to get you excited and take your money away. This thing is designed to make your life better. The ability to troubleshoot things and solve problems will help you to secure career opportunities and will give you deeper understanding of the operating system on a very practical level. You'll become way more efficient and productive and last but not least, you'll take back your personal computer, which belongs to you. This was Reluctant Anarchist and I have nothing left to say.